Yeah, um, I'm Li Chekian, uh, chairman of the Hong Kong Alliance in support of the Patriotic Democratic Movement of China in China. So, uh, the imposition uh, on Hong Kong, the national security law by the National People Congress, is obviously, uh, 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 you know, Xi Jinping had torn away the whole pretense of one country, two system. So they are announcing to the world that Hong Kong is no longer under one country, two system. It is now one country, one system, when they can impose the law on Hong Kong. And they are telling the world, you know, the, the Sino-British Joint Declaration is out. One country, two system is out. And what we are left is a total, you know, confrontation or, uh, uh, of China against Hong Kong. And when you look at the, uh, the whole concept of national security, you know, everyone knows that in China, when they talk about national security, it is just criticism of the Communist Party. Like what happened to Liu Xiaobo. Liu Xiaobo is advocating only for democracy. And he was jailed in the name of subversion of 11 years in jail. It's the Chinese Communist Party trying to make all people of Hong Kong become Liu Xiaobo. Because we people in Hong Kong, including the Hong Kong Alliance, had always been exercising our rights and freedom to criticize China, to advocate for democracy. So now to advocate for democracy, it's a crime when you use the Hong national security law in Hong Kong. So they are destroying completely uh, the, the Hong Kong system. And also, from the point of view of the Hong Kong Alliance, we have been fighting this, against this law uh, since the, 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 their first attempt in Zero Free. At that time, I, I remember very clearly, and I think this will be the, what is happening now, is they have the right to proscribe organizations that they believe to be, uh, you know, um, uh, breaching or violating the national security law. So by, they would ban organization. So will they ban the Hong Kong Alliance when we said that, you know, we'll call for democracy? Will they ban when we are demanding for justice for those who are massacred in Tiananmen Square? But of course, it's not just targeted at us. It's targeted at every organization in Hong Kong that dare to speak out against the Communist Party. So, but then, even so, you know, what Xi Jinping is doing is challenging the whole international community. You know, they are telling the world, so what? We are destroying one country, two system. What can you do? So let's see what the world is going to do. And I'm sure one thing, that what Xi Jinping is doing, Xi Jinping is burning Hong Kong. And China will burn with us. And it's sad, because it's not the people of Hong Kong only. The Chinese people are also will suffer because of this Xi Jinping, who want to burn everything down. And so people will suffer, but we believe that in the, in the long run, you know, when they are so crazy as to impose uh, national security law, so senseless as to destroy one country to system, they will suffer themselves. And I, I, we believe that in the long run, uh, we in Hong Kong, we, 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 have, we persist in our struggle for democracy. And let's see what happens. Maybe, you know, by burning together, we will find a new Hong Kong and new China. And so I think there also always hope when the, the, the other side, the enemy, is uh, so crazy. So I think the people of Hong Kong uh, will continue our struggle. We will come out against this uh, national security law as we have come out against the, um, the whole extradition bill and the zero free, the, uh, the, the Article 23 back. So we have a history of struggle and the people will, of Hong Kong will not back down and, and continue to struggle. And it is always hopeful that when we fight on, we will win. Thank you.
Well, it, you can see that the whole process actually is trying to avoid Hong Kong legislature. We have no, we have no role to play because all the role has been taken up by the standing committee of the NPC and, uh, and the Chinese government. So uh, not even the uh, Hong Kong government. <laughs> the SAL government also has no role to play here. And, uh, and, and then you can see um, step by step they are going to set up an office in Hong Kong in, in order to carry out or enforce that uh, national security law. So um, what we can do, well, of course, I need to have more um, information about the upcoming um, bill, uh, although we have some information, but then you can see that um, it is uh, totally against our mini constitution. That means uh, our basic law. And uh, that is a, well, as, as um, HN has just mentioned, it is a complete destruction of uh, one country, two systems. And, um, and also it's a complete um, dishonor of uh, promises that made under the Sino and British uh, Joint Declaration as well as uh, all the promises that have been made by the Chinese government towards the world. So um, what we can do is at least to urge the Chinese government, please honor their promises and uh, do respect um, uh, the core value in Hong Kong. And uh, for further action, we will inform uh, media in due course.